Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you this morning to say thank you. Thank you for this new day. Thank you for waking me up. Thank you for life, health, and strength. Thank you for a mind to give you my first fruits of the day in prayer. And thank you for helping me to press past every distraction and seek you first thing in the morning. On today, October 19th, I pray the body of Christ would experience supernatural acceleration of blessings that had been long held up and hindered. In the name of Jesus, I come against every hindering spirit that has been in operation behind the scenes to cause delay and frustration within the lives of your people. I pray in the name of Jesus that you would release and employ every angelic host necessary to ensure the timely delivery of the blessings that you have for your people in this season. The healing and deliverance, the salvation of wayward children, the abundance of finances to help build the kingdom of God, the new career opportunities, the new homes and relocation, the new business ventures and partners, the new um marriages, the new God-ordained marriages, new earth angels and purpose partners, the reuniting of estranged family members, um, the biological children after years of barrenness, the freedom after years of incarceration, the miracles, the signs, the wonders, all that you have for your people, Father. I am praying in the name of Jesus that it would be released and it would touch down and manifest in the earth realm with no more delay. Father, many blessings you've desired to give your people in past seasons were intercepted by the enemy. But I pray in the name of Jesus that on today you would arise and in your fury scatter every form of darkness that has come to steal, kill, or destroy in this season. In the name of Jesus, may this season be the one in which your people will experience recompense, back pay, and an outpouring of latter rain. May those who have stood in faith and resisted the temptation of the enemy to give up on you, be handsomely rewarded, and may this all be done speedily in the name of Jesus. Father, we don't care how dry, dead, or impossible our situations look. We don't care how much time has passed. You are the creator of time, and you have the power to give us overnight what it would have taken years to accomplish on our own. So we trust your timing and we trust your way. And we know all things work together for the good of those who love the Lord and are called according to his purposes. Isaiah 43, 19 says that you are doing a new thing. Now it springs up. You are making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. You are causing the impossible to happen in the lives of your people during this time. And I just thank you right now. I pray in the name of Jesus that everything the enemy has stolen from your people over the years is being restored double with great acceleration even now. May the women who have suffered miscarriages or long seasons of barrenness give birth to multiples, Father. May those who have been unemployed receive job offers making more money than they could have ever imagined. May those who have lived in apartments all their lives finally close on their new homes. May those who have sowed in secret Those who have done beautiful, wonderful things for other people in secret be rewarded in public. May those who have given just the little that they had in order to bless the lives of other people finally be on the receiving end of goodness and abundance. Father, you have seen the dry seasons. You have seen what your people have gone through. You have seen the way people have sacrificed and given. And you have seen how people have stood in their faith to depend on you to do that new thing. And I am just praying in the name of Jesus that you would accelerate the blessings of your people even now. When you are at work, Father, nothing can stop you. You are in control of all things. I thank you for being the God of second chances. I thank you for being a God of justice. I thank you for bringing blessings that we may have missed in past seasons back around at a time where we could be much better stewards of them, Lord. There were marriages you wanted to give us in prior seasons, but we weren't ready. There were new homes you wanted to give us in prior seasons, but we weren't ready. There were new jobs you wanted to give us in prior seasons, but we weren't ready. But we thank you that we're ready now. And we thank you for the acceleration that is behind these blessings now. The times and seasons are all in your hands. But I thank you for promising in Joel 2.25 to restore the years that were stolen and eaten up. I pray these things in the matchless name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Scripture of the day is Job 42, 10 through 12. After Job had prayed for his friends, the Lord restored his fortunes and gave him twice as much as he had before.
All his brothers and sisters and everyone who had known him before came and ate with him in his house. They comforted him and consoled him over all the trouble the Lord had brought him, and each one gave him a piece of silver and a gold ring. The Lord blessed the latter part of Job's life more than the former part.